It's best to have a partner hold your feet across the flat bench. With your hips directly under your knees, cross your arms across your chest and slowly raise yourself up until the chest and thighs touch. Make sure to keep your back rounded at every stage of this motion, both on the way up and down. As your chest approaches the thighs, raise your arms up so they go over the top of the knees. As in the reverse sit-ups, pause slightly at the top of the rep and contract the stomach muscles hard before lowering yourself down. The burn in the abs should be tremendous after three sets of 15 to 20 reps. When you fatigue so much that you can't raise all the way up, simply lift the shoulders off the floor and contract the abs. Next, we come to the heart of the bodybuilder's routine. The exercise most responsible for gains in strength and overall body mass, the barbell squat. Start by taking a shoulder width foot stance with your feet straight ahead or slightly out to the side. If you find yourself leaning too far forward as you descend, try using a one inch block under your heels. The squat is the hardest and the most productive of bodybuilding exercises. It is also dangerous if not done carefully. The key to squatting safely is lowering slowly into the bottom position with the spine straight. Dropping or bouncing to the bottom position is a sure way to get injured. The bar should rest comfortably on the upper back muscles. Don't hold the bar too high on the neck though. Keeping your head up, lower slowly into a position where the thighs are parallel with the floor. It's not necessary to go lower than this. Using leg strength, extend the legs and stand up slowly. Make sure to keep your spine completely straight as you squat up and down. The key here is to lower straight down and fully bend the knees. Using high reps between 12 and 15 will get sufficient blood in the legs to stimulate growth. You'll be able to squat heavier weights with lower reps, but your thighs will respond better to the higher reps. Three sets of 12 to 15 reps will get you on the road to shapely muscular legs. After three hard sets of squats, the next exercise the barbell bench press is a great relief. You even get to lie down. As much as trainers hate to squat, they all love to bench press. No other exercise, except for the barbell curl, is so widely done. And this is for good reason. No other chest exercise will build and shape your chest as well as the bench press. After adjusting yourself on the bench, take a grip on the bar slightly wider than shoulder width. At the bottom of the press, the elbow should be directly under the wrist and the arm bent at a 90 degree angle. Lower the bar slowly to the top of your chest, flaring the elbows out to the side. Keeping your elbows out creates a great stretch in the pectoral muscle, which is the reason this exercise works so well. After lowering the bar slowly into position, press the bar back and up to its starting position. If you just push upward, the bar will travel out in front of you and will be in a weak leverage position. Just as in the squat, this exercise is safe if performed correctly, but can cause problems if you drop or bounce the bar off your chest. Lowering the weight slowly and always doing at least 8 reps ensures that you are capable of handling the weight. Three sets of between 8 to 12 reps will really cause the chest, shoulders, and triceps to sprout bulges of muscles and in a hurry too. One excellent method of weight selection is using the heaviest weight you can for a maximum of eight reps on the first set. 
Rest one minute. Use the same weight on the second set. Do the same on the third. When you work up to using this weight for three sets of 12 repetitions, you can add weight. Try this method on all your exercises. Our next exercise works exactly the opposite muscles that the bench press does. In fact, it is precisely the same movement, just done in a bent over position. Using the same grip on the bar as in the bench press, bend over until your torso is slightly below parallel. Using the muscles of the shoulder blades and arms, pull the bar up until it touches your chest right under the pecs. Concentrate on feeling the muscles between the shoulder blades contract. These are called the rhomboids and are important muscles for a thick muscular back. In fact, as you fatigue in this exercise and you can't get the bar to your chest, keep pulling as long as you can get the shoulder blades to come together. Remember, if your grip is too narrow, your biceps will fatigue before your middle back. Remember, take care not to round out your back. Your hips should always be flexed and your lower back should be arched. Your hips and legs should be keeping you up, not your lower back. Three sets of eight to 12 reps should do the trick nicely. This next exercise works those key muscles of the masculine physique, the shoulders. Thick, wide deltoids are a trademark of the well-developed man, and nothing works these better than overhead dumbbell presses. Take two dumbbells and sit upright on a flat bench. Clean them to support position, and slowly push them up and across until your arms straighten over your head. Just as in the bench press, make sure to keep your elbows out to the sides as you press up and down. This keeps the action on the shoulders and not the triceps. Always lower the dumbbells until they are just about to touch the top of the shoulders. The bigger the range of motion, the better the muscles are worked. The biggest problem here is with balance. As you get tired, pushing the dumbbells up will get harder than it looks. But there's a plus. Working hard to maintain your balance trains lots of small stabilizer muscles that are crucial for shoulder strength and stability. Three sets of 8 to 12 work fine here also.